E na hoa imi na awao, uh, aloha nui kakou, aloha oni paa kakou. Ovao oha alili o Solomon, uh, he kumu a o ma kawai hui lani ma ke kula nui o vai ma manua nei, uh, he haumana lai ula noho i ma ke keena ka lai olelo. Um, I'm kind of going off the book. Um, I had a paper written and sort of readied, I had a presentation. What instead I, I kind of uh, would like to do is basically kind of have a discussion. My presentation is called Kekulan Olelo Na Ano Mana Oli Ke Ole Piliani Na Olelo Ka Aina. Attitudes and ideologies surrounding Hawaiian and pigeon in Hawaii. How do we begin to start uh, to talk about attitudes and ideologies? It's kind of like they're often subconscious, they're often um, difficult to articulate, kind of like describing a new color, what does it look like? And so I'm going to show a video, I want to show videos as sort of a stimulus, as sort of a, to, um, so we can begin to talk about it. I really want you guys to, uh, I value all the feedback. My PhD studies are going in the way of um, language ideologies, specifically on Hawaiian, but as Kaliko Aloha mentioned earlier, um, normalizing one helps to normalize the other, describing one helps to describe the other. Those, co those conversations uh, can be mutually informative. So, I'm going to show a video of the Makaha sons singing Pidgin English Hula. I thought it was fitting enough for this conference. Maybe some of us know this uh, Hapa Haole song. Um, but it's not a video that you're gonna see them singing. They're, it's not a music video where they're interpreting the song visually or, do I need this? You have to talk and do it like this. Okay. <laughs> yeah. um, it's, instead, it's a video, a song that was used in, um, a, a, a class assignment. The class was uh, Hawaiian 100, a class we teach in our department, Kawai uh, Huelani. I'm not sure who uh, assigned it, this beyond the, beyond scope. Uh, I'm not sure what grade the students got for, um, the students got received for this. It was a video, it was a video assignment. What I want us to take note of is how Pigeon is represented visually in the music video, as well as um, in, comparison to, in comparison to the English subtitles. So, let's see the, I think I already pulled it up. Hey. Hey, uh. So it's mostly, um, I, th I think we'll be able to, have the audio, yeah. but it's mostly also the visual, the visual representation.
get the picture. Right? In the interest of time, we'll probably um, cut it there. It was almost done. So what, when I, I made a lot of observations, I think I, um, I took a critical eye to this, and I'm not, I don't want to blame, this was made this year, or last semester, so it's um, sort of a current sample of what, uh, what kind of attitudes are existing surrounding pigeon. Uh, pigeon is usually a unit in Hawaiian 100, um, uh, has a curriculum built around it to, to teach about pigeon. I'm not sure if uh, the Kuma are actually teaching pigeon or teaching about it. But I think it's, um, this video offers the way it was assigned and the way it was um, executed and the, the final product gives us a lot to talk about and discuss about how we feel as, as a community or communities, different communities, uh, about pigeon and maybe also about Hawaiian. So, what do we think? Any um, observations made? depictions maybe not maybe not local okay what does that do at large So. Yeah, so that, that would have been my parents' time. Uh, it's just not something that really resonates with me. The, the video, the song does, the video doesn't. Yeah, a lot of juxtaposition. Mahalo. Uh, Mammy had a question as well. Well, I have a question, but I have a comment. Comment. I think that um, this video and some of the other contemporary Hawaiian music, if you call it that, is an extreme poor example of what good relationships are or could be for healthy families. Mm. Um, and it's stereotypes in yeah. Hawaiian men and women. So I have issues with this. I also am of that generation where this kind of hapahali songs was more in the vein of some comedy or yeah. so on. But, but mm -hmm. that doesn't mean that uh, too much drinking was okay back then either because there's a whole other set of problems. Mm. But I'm just saying that this is uh, such a disservice to the Hawaiian community. Yeah. Mahalo. I completely agree. I think it's, there's, there's a kitschiness. There's a, uh, it's sort of the gag of the, it's just a kind of considered as a humorous kind of, for for giggles, yeah. So, and that is also always keeping it outside of the main conversation. It's always marginalizing it, right? So I had uh, Kaliko Aloha. Hi. Um, just the way that pigeon is presented in that video, the way that they're spelling mm. you know, the pigeon terms, like I caught guru for good, it's yeah. what, you know, a non-pigeon speaker who looks at that and right. analyzes the spelling of pigeon, it kind of goes against the if it's typography or whatever, the spelling conventions mm. region that has been normalized mm -hmm. uh, by someone's dissertation, I can't remember off that. 
Okay. Interestingly, this is from the lyrics are from huapala.org, which is sort of the go-to website for all for all Hawaiian or Hapahali music. So I think it was a copy and paste situation. Not to say Huapala isn't complete, you know. Kent. And the song sort of makes it uh, frozen in in time. Yeah, mahalo. Sorry, I'm a high school teacher, oh. and I think maybe we're reading too much into it. Um, when Kikeha uh, was talking, I forgot how we used to make more sexual kind of jokes a mm. long time ago. It was okay. Yeah. We didn't mean anything offensive. And these kids, I'm assuming a kid made this, they don't have the same background that we do. So mm -hmm. I don't know if we should be so offended. Absolutely. I, I kind of, that's why I sort of went off book because I, like I said, I make a lot of, uh, I'm critical, right? I, I try to not take off those glasses. And it was well intending, I'm sure, but I used this as a sort of a litmus test to, to see what's happening underneath the, in our, what's happening mentally, psychologically, that, a lo that uh, motivates us to portray or represent things the way we do. Um, like I said, I don't want to blame the students as um, I'm, I'm sure their motivations are well intending. But uh, the results, are, we should, you know, um, invite a discussion about them. But I, I agree, because we're sort of belly aching about a whole bevy of things nowadays. Maybe we could just let this slide. I, I absolutely agree. You know. Um, no. So for me, I'm currently in Hawaiian 100, and so this was our assignment this year, and so um, oh. we didn't do the song, so yeah. <laughs> um, but anyways, my group didn't. But um, for some of my group members who aren't local, who aren't from here, they're from the mainland, when they heard this song, they were like, oh, wow, like you guys are actually like that, you know what I mean? Like, that's their perception of us. But like to piggyback off of Auntie, like for us it's just kind of we joke around, like how Ali said, you know, we all play around with each other. You know, that's understood with our culture. But for somebody on the outside looking in, it's like, oh, you, what you guys is kind of scandalous, you know what I mean? But it's really not, you know what I mean? Like, all the locals, like, we just crack up laughing when we hear this song, but to somebody else, like, they really took it offensive. Like, yeah, they took it literally. So I think, um, for me, like, that's just my manao, and that's how people perceive us. So it's like, if we want people to perceive us differently, then we really got to yeah. adjust and maybe yeah. self-reflect. Sure. Mahalo. Maybe one last comment? I just want to make a couple comments. Number one is um, kind of underscores the importance of the visual, visual cues within the pigeon itself. Mm. Because, uh, you know, what like Ali was saying, there, there's certain, certain components of, of uh, um, whether it's theatrics or whatever, right. that's part of the language of pigeon. So that's one thing. And the other is the evolution of pigeon within the generations. As as Anna is witness here. So, you know, just like all of the Hawaii evolves from whatever it was like, mm -hmm. in the modern context. Pigeon has some, a similar kind of track. Right. That it, there's the evolution. So right. um, maybe the, the the sense is that we have to be careful about the interpretations because there's a time period at which the monopoly is to be. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. That's all mahalo, ha'a. Mahalo. Yeah. <laughs>